Uber drivers, Uber drivers, Uber drivers, what up? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. I haven't made an Uber video in a minute. I used to drive Uber quite a bit back in the day, but as of now, there's a lot going on with Uber. We have drivers that say they want to be employees. You have drivers that say they don't want to be employees. You have people, I want to be an independent contractor. Other people say, well, I'm not exactly an independent contractor because I can't do this and I can't do that and I can't see my trip request. Well, Uber has made a lot of changes. They're, or at least they're starting to make a lot of changes here in California. So one thing they're bringing back is the surge multiplier. So back in the day, the surge multiplier was really awesome. If you drove for New Year's Eve, you already know it's gonna be 2X or 3X. So what that means is if it's a $10 ride and it's 3X, it's gonna be three times that. So instead of $10 for that ride, you would get $30 for that ride. What Uber has now is they have like this surge bonus. And the thing with this surge bonus is it's kind of annoying. So like, let's say, let's use this $10, $10 ride, for example. Let's say you got this $10 ride. So what Uber will do is maybe they'll give you a bonus for this particular area. So if you pick up in this particular area, you get a $5 extra surge bonus. So now you get this extra $5 for picking up in this, this area, and then you still get the $10, the, the same $10 that you would have normally got. Um, so now they're bringing back the surge multiplier so it can be much, much higher. For example, now you can get three times that $10 versus, you know, with this, this, this other surge thing that they have going where you just get a bonus for picking up in different surge areas. So they're bringing back the surge multiplier, which is really, really cool. I was a huge fan of the surge multiplier because it just let you know, look, this is the areas that go. This is what I'm going to get. And I hope I get an airport ride because airport rides go on the other side of the city. Another thing that, that, that Uber is going to do is they're going to bring exact fares in Uber Pool. Um, you know, I, I, this is kind of cool, but it's kind of like, you know how Uber Pool is, you know, the, the rides, you got to do a lot of Uber Pools to really make money. And you can actually make money with Uber Pools, especially in San Francisco, because in one hour, two hours, you can pick up quite a bit of people, especially if they're coming from the financial district and they're going like other parts of the city, Uber Pool can, can work out great. So they're gonna let people know how much money they're, they're gonna make before you see before you do the, the request. So this is pretty awesome. Also, Uber has updated their app quite a bit. So now you can see things like, before you accept the request, you can see the pickup location and you can see the drop off location and stuff like that. This is really cool. Now, another thing that Uber is rolling out is Quest and boost promotions they're basically changing the quest and boost promotions so what uber used to do is they would do this thing where like okay if you drive a hundred if you complete a hundred trips in one week we'll give you two hundred dollar bonus if you complete 120 trips in one week we'll give you a uh, 150 dollar bonus and then they stopped that because they figured out like look people are completing these trips in five days and then they have two days and they're not, they're not getting any bonuses or they figured out some other way to get rid of that. And then Uber started to split it. So they start to do this deal where like, if you drive from Monday through Thursday and if you complete 30 trips, you get this bonus. If you complete 40 trips, you get this bonus. And that was pretty cool. They, you know, that's what they do. They just switch, switch it up all the time. So when you're trying to do the quest bonuses, when you're trying to complete 120 trips in one week, so you can get that big bonus at the end of the week, what you really aim for is you're really aiming for Uber pool rides because on a, you can do a lot of Uber pool rides in one hour. For example, I remember I used to do five Uber pool rides in one hour and I need to get 120 trips in one week and I just did five in one hour. So some days in San Francisco, I would easily do 40 Uber pool trips in like one day. Now, don't get me wrong, that wasn't, the, that, that wasn't like every day. Like it was just the luck of the draw. Like that day I had a lot of small requests, a lot of local requests. If on that same day I had a lot of requests going in and out of the city, those requests take a lot longer. And you have to also drive back to the city. And these bonuses, you, they have to, the rides have to originate in San Francisco. So you can't be in like, you can't pick up someone in San Francisco, drive to Oakland, and then pick up someone from Oakland and that count as one trip. Like it has to originate here in San Francisco. So it can get really, really tricky. So what Uber is gonna do with the Quest and the Boost promotions is they are going to change up. Instead of giving you a bonus where like, if you complete 30 trips, if you complete 60 trips, 100 trips, we're going to give you an extra bonus. Uber is going to flip the script. So from now on, they're going to do this thing where if you complete X amount of trips, you'll pay less commission to Uber. 
less commission to Uber. Now, we're going to talk about commission in one second because Uber is changing up the whole commission scale and how much drivers pay to Uber. But they're going to change up the commission amount. So, for example, your first 60 trips, maybe your commission rate is 25% that you pay for Uber. But from trips 61 through 80 or 61 through 100, maybe they reduce the amount of commissions that you pay to Uber. So instead of paying 25% to Uber from rides 61 through 100, now for these rides, you're only paying 10% to Uber. Okay, so basically what Uber is doing is they're just constantly changing up the system. They're constantly changing up how you make money. So it's, it would be very, very hard to like figure out the system and work the system because they just change it constantly and change it constantly. Another cool thing that Uber is going to do, which is really awesome, is they are, this is like the main event. I think most people are excited about this more than anything, but they are going to basically summarize the earnings. So right now, when you drive for Uber, it's very, very difficult to figure out how much the passenger is paying. It's very, very difficult to figure out how much Uber is um, making. Now, you can look at this on the app, but then it's all, like the numbers are just so just all over the place. It's not so simple to interpret. All right. So now what they're going to do. <coughs> so drivers are going to keep 75 percent of their earnings and Uber is going to take 25 percent of the earnings. So yes, so Uber is changing their pay model. They're changing their structure model again. So how this is going to work now is in the past, you would have a, a customer who would request a ride and they would pay a booking fee. Maybe the booking fee is $2. The booking fee varies from city to city. Maybe the booking fee is $2. So Uber would make that $2 booking fee straight off the bat. Okay. And then the actual cost of the ride, let's say the ride was $10, okay? Who knows how much Uber actually made off that ride, okay? Because if you actually think about it, how much did the rider pay? They didn't actually, they didn't, the rider didn't pay $10. The rider paid $10 plus the $2 booking fee. But what Uber was doing was they was just taking their percentage out of the actual amount. But then if you actually add the amount and the booking fee, the total amount that Uber is getting would be a much, much higher. So for example, let's use a really, really short ride. Let's use like a ride that's like a $10 ride. So Uber says, okay, we're gonna take 25% of this ride. 25% of a $10 ride would be $2.50, the money that Uber would collect. But actually Uber would take the two fifty. Now I know Uber doesn't exactly charge 25% commission in every market, but we're just gonna, just gonna use the 25% for an example in this video. So Uber charges 25% on that $10 ride. So that is gonna be $2.25 that Uber makes plus the $2 that Uber made. So on that particular ride and nowadays, Uber made way more than 25%. So on these new earnings, Uber is going to lower the booking rate. So the booking rate will fluctuate. On a longer ride, the booking rate could be higher. On a shorter ride, the booking rate could be lower. So now Uber promises drivers will keep 75% of their earnings and Uber will take 25% of the service fee. So the service fee is gonna be part of the booking fee and they're gonna lower the booking fee. This is kinda confusing if you ask me. This is all kinda confusing, but this is what Uber does. This is what Uber does. Every now and then they change up the pay scale, they change up the bonuses, they change up the incentives. You know, they're not gonna do the quest bonuses anymore, but now they're gonna re reduce the rate that you pay in commissions. Okay, so I'm a little confused. So you're gonna reduce the commission rate, but then I'm gonna, you guys get where, where we're going here. So will this actually help drivers or will this benefit drivers? Okay, for drivers that make money, okay? Drivers that, that do this and they make money and they, they do this all the time. I don't think it's gonna affect these drivers at all. I don't think these drivers are gonna even notice a difference at all. Now, the drivers who are out there protesting, the drivers who are out there that are saying that they want to be employees, the drivers that say that, you know, I work for Uber, I just, Uber should pay for my health insurance, and Uber should pay for my gas, and Uber should pay for my car, and Uber should pay for, basically, Uber should pay for everything because you're driving for Uber and you feel that Uber should pay for everything. These drivers, I don't think these things are going to help these drivers. Because it seems like these drivers already had problems before. Maybe they're in a market that's not very busy. Maybe they don't work the busiest times. So I don't think that 
all of these new things are really going to help out these drivers. They're still going to have the same problems. They're still going to be complaining. They're still going to, oh, it's not busy. Oh, this is not going, this is not working right. This is not going on. So at the end of the day, Uber has just rolled out all these new things. And this is to, I guess, help out with the AB5 law that is, um, uh, that was passed here in California that I am completely not a fan of the AB5 law. I understand a lot of people are a fan of it. A lot of drivers are not a fan of it. Um, it this is not only going to hurt drivers and affect drivers, this is going to hurt everyone who is an independent contractor. And I'm not talking about just, just people in the sharing economy. I'm talking about people far outside of the sharing economy. Like, it's going to hurt lots of small entrepreneurs, like people like myself. If this law, this law is passed, but I haven't seen any I haven't seen anything going on with this law like I haven't got any messages from caviar saying you're an employee now I haven't got any messages from uber saying you're an employee now so yeah this law has passed but what I mean I don't see any difference I mean I'm not getting a check and I'm not an employee and I'm not getting free health insurance so yeah they, they yeah I'm totally not a fan of the a a b5 law rule law not a fan of it at all anyway i wanted to make a video giving out my two cents about this whole uber deal because it is uh there's lots of people talking about it there's lots of people talking about it yeah but in california they have updated the app and i believe that they will eventually roll out some of these updates through to other places throughout the u.s but as of now they are rolling it out like city by city in california and I think in, in about two weeks, I pretty much have all of California on this new system, and we'll have to see how this one. We'll have to see how this one goes. But anyway, yeah, Uber drivers, make that money. Independent contractors out there, make that money. Employees, listen to your boss. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thought I would make a video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, y'all.